The stellar sea cow was a large marine mammal that was found in abundance in the North Pacific. These enormous animals were closely related to the dugong and the manatee still found grazing in the oceans today, but were of considerable size at between 8 and 9 meters in length. The Stellar Sea Cow was first discovered in 1741 by explorers that ventured into parts of the Arctic Circle. When they were first recorded, the Stellar Sea Cow was said to be living in abundance in the North Pacific, however in less than 20 years of human contact, the Stellar Sea Cow had disappeared from the ocean completely. Stellar Sea Cows were large herbivores that had a seal-like appearance with a tail which resembled that of a whale. The Stellar Sea Cow was named after George Steller who discovered the animal and who described it. The animal never comes out on shore, but always lives in the water. Its skin is black and thick, like the bark of an old oak, its head in proportion to the body is small, it has no teeth, but only two flat white bones one above, the other below. The Stellar Sea Cow was said to be a tame animal that spent most of its time concerning itself with munching on kelp, which is possibly what made it so vulnerable later on. However, the Stellar Sea Cow was also said to be unable to submerge its enormous body fully underwater making it an easy spot for human hunters. The Stellar Sea Cow was a herbivorous animal that would have had a very similar diet to the dugong and manatees still extant today. This toothless animal would have spent the majority of its time grazing on kelp, seaweed and other aquatic grasses that grow in the shallows of the oceans. Before being discovered by humans, the Stellar Sea Cow would have had very few predators within its watery world. Large shark species would have been the only predators able to tackle such an enormous meal but none were more successful at hunting this enormous sea cow than humans who wiped out the entire species in just 17 years. The stellar sea cow would have mated and given birth to its calf in the water, as these marine mammals do not go on to the land. In much the same way as its smaller cousins, the female stellar sea cow would have given birth to a single calf after a gestation period that probably lasted well over a year. The sea cow calf would have remained with its mother until it was strong enough to become independent. Sadly, these remarkable giants of the sea, were wiped out by human hunters almost instantly after having been discovered by explorers. Today, its smaller cousins are also under serious threat in their native habitats from overhunting and increasing levels of pollution in the water.